Well, I just passed another vehicle. <clears throat> so there's people in here. He had a motorcycle with him. There's a... Uh... I already went to two more new gnarly areas that the rain and the snow has uh, messed up the, the trail. And uh, I didn't video because I wanted my hands on the steering. This trail continues. It goes into a big meadow and then it continues and it goes way back to a to a river and a, and a reservoir where people go and fish. There you go, that's a root. I hate those things. Jesus Christ. Here's a view of the front, front camera. Here's another little drop, but this is this is pretty smooth. Now I notice on this uh, trip, I have to make my turns wider because it's a longer truck. So I went from the. I went from the blazer to all blue to big blanco and you gotta make those turns wider and wider okay here's a gate that they usually in the winter they close up so now we're coming up to a uh, a stream where it used to go down into it and up and it was muddy and slippery people with long wheelbase will get stuck and what they did is they built the bridge and now anybody with a Suburban can come in here that's the way it is and here's the bridge so I got a video when I used to go down into that stream and uh and crank it up the hill but i'm gonna park i'm gonna park back it up into the spot it's a nice uh the road continues there's a fire ring back there too The hell? Oh, there's some low dry branches that I just hit. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut to, to the right a little bit. Yeah. Let me take a look and see what the hell's going on. Oh, all right, so I'm hitting that. Yeah, this is low. I wasn't here before so I'm hitting my ladder smacking the crap out of the camper uh, okay I want to go through there I think I came in the wrong way There's good water. Look at that flow. Okay. I'm gonna hit that tree. Feels level, right? Right. 
right there. front of the fire ring and I'm leaning a little bit to the to the left just a tad not a big deal uh, oh when I crank it up I'm gonna hit that I'm gonna have to move it over to the left a little bit when you have a pop-up you gotta watch where you park and what's above you okay so fire rings gonna be on the right of the truck this this is even better because it's more uh, more level i'll check my bubble i'm at three it's okay not bad Whew. let me see Yeah, that's pretty level. It's not bad. And I'm not gonna hit any branches when I crank it. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna move it forward just a tad because the stairs are on the little hill. The steps, I mean. And is 12 o'clock, it took me Two hours to get here. Okay, let's drag it. I'm dragging the steps. Right about there. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's a little better because I had it up here. Stretch it out. Yeah, not bad. Then I need a stick. Yeah, make it level. All right, man, I'm tired. I'm gonna relax. I hear vehicles. There's probably motorcycles back in there. Come and make noise. I hate it when they do that. Before hunting season, they come make noise. All right, let me get the key and open it up and the whole deal. I already unlatched it and I'm gonna pop it. And uh, there's nothing in the way. All right, later. Well, I open the door and what do I see? Everything on the floor. Toilet came out of its closet. Put you back in there. Jesus, everything moves. Uh, that's a bad thing about having a pop up that. Everything lands on the floor. It's a lot of work. Put it back up, fix it. Look at this. All right, let me get in there. Let me, uh, let me shorten this up a little bit. Uh, I think that in the near future i might sell this rig and just get me a trailer a travel trailer and uh yeah the only thing that didn't drop was the the heavy gun sleeping bag the bottle everything landed on the floor and if I do that, I won't be able to come in here anymore because 
there's no way you can bring a travel trailer back in this area no way Jose I've been sleeping on the sofa which is a lot more comfortable than being climbing up and down so Hunting, clothing, and jacket, and everything else. Okay, and this has been charging, so it should be done. 99. Turn it off. Okay, let's bring this thing up. These shocks that I installed, they really help crank in the weight up. Oh, <laughs> this thing got chewed up in here. The only thing didn't drop was the uh, backpack. <clears throat> okay, let me get some fresh air in here. And let's get this pack up here. This is my charging system and uh, it dropped out of the shelf, landed behind and I said the hell with it, I gotta, I gotta fix that later. So it's already, we're at 7,900 feet and it's 12 o'clock, 11.59, time for lunch. We got a cross breeze going and uh, still got a Get some of the stuff in shape here. I got the other gun in the... I got both guns in the front. All right, so later. I gotta clean up here. Later, bye. Out of all my tool bags, or bag of tools, I don't have a Phillips screwdriver, so I managed to screw that in, that corner, with this little tool. Don't ask me. Oh, because it's difficult, but I got it. And I say that this is the most useful little tool. You can see that. That that you can have. And I bought one for a friend of mine. I want to send it to him in Florida. And it's going to say the tool that you, you're most likely to use. More than any other tool. Okay, that's done. Uh, there's always something to do 
and the camper. All right. Okay, so good news. I found the other battery that I lost. It was under a cushion. <laughs> and now let me check the fridge because the fridge is cold. I want to see if the pilot is still on because I went down in, in altitude and not much. But it's working. You got a little flame back there? Yep. Okay, now it's hot dog. A mystery. I am supposed to be here. There it is. There it is. I like these cast iron pans because they really heat up and they hold the heat. I keep these so I don't need a whole jar of ketchup or mustard you know a whole bottle it takes up room beautiful I like my onions raw. Yes, sir. -y. Little ketchup, little mustard, little relish, and we're good to go. And this off. On my finger. Yeah, baby. Mmm. 
Good. Can't hold the camera, drink, and eat at the same time, so later. Well, lunch was good. Having a little uh, bourbon. And we got the TV working, so now it's movie night. All right. Later. Well, I... I just came back from, uh, I went to this field where I saw bucks uh, crossing in front of the truck uh, a few years ago, about three years ago. And I said, well, it might be a crossing. Let me check it out. And if it's, if it's, if it's good, if there's deer movement, then I'm going to stake that out for the, when it opens, you know. So I went there at three o'clock and I just came back at six. I sat on a rock for three hours and my butt is sore. <laughs> But let me tell you, man, nothing moved. And I was very quiet. I was very sheltered, camouflage, and, you know, kept glassing and glassing and nothing. I had a view from a field to my left, uh, 200 yards, and then goes across from me and then across the road and then up to 1,000 yards. And, and then trees everywhere and uh, a gully where they usually used to, you know, walk and not be seen little dry gully there and uh, nothing there was no movement at all so i don't know maybe maybe they'll move when there's more people right now there's nobody here all right i'm gonna fix dinner and <clears throat> can't watch the movie the battery died only have enough for lights so it's gonna be a boring night all right see you on the next one and well i think i overdid it with the cooking here we have omelet, sausage, and uh, ground chicken, rice, and black beans. Season to taste. And I think I, I made enough for two people. <laughs> All right, let me start uh, serving later. Okay, I don't mind saying it, but I'm a good cook. <laughs> This is delicious. It looks a little messy, but it's delicious. Those black beans with the omelet and chicken and sausage. Can't beat it. I need now is to get a beer and we're good to go. All right. The aroma. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go, guys. Later. Well, good morning. It wasn't a good night. It got cold. I don't know how much, but let me see. Yeah, it, it was 43 now, but earlier it was 30. And man, I, th I thought it went below zero. It, it, I couldn't put my hand out of the sleeping bag because it would get frozen. That's how cold it was. And the problem is that it gets cold down here. This is a bowl. The cold runs down the hills to the bottom. Where I camp is up high with a backpack and it doesn't get that cold up there it gets cold but not that cold but over here wow and and yeah i didn't have the heater going i turned it on in the morning so i can get dressed and stuff but man it was just too much i had a really rough night i didn't sleep too well so i guess i'm gonna have to take a an afternoon nap or something but i'm picking up and i'm moving to a sunny spot because also i'm in the shade the lights are weak and uh oh and last night there was a full moon that it was coming through the window through the curtains and, I, and it was hitting me in the face and i kept covering up and and man it, the moon was super bright it looked like i had a spotlight on me the whole area, I look out the window, the whole area, you can walk on it. 
without having to use a, a flashlight. It was so bright. And that's what the deers take advantage and go feed. And then they hide in the, in the day and they don't really move. And I don't know why they have the opening on a full moon. I think they do it on purpose to, to uh, diminish the chances of getting a deer. That's what I think. All right. Uh, let me start cleaning up over here. Later. Well, good morning again. I am moving to a new spot. And uh, so we can get plenty of sun and recharge that battery. Right now it's being charged with the uh, alternator, but when I stop the truck, then the, the solar panel will take over. Haven't seen anything. And it's sad because if this was Wyoming, all the all those fields, you would have seen deer grazing in the distance. Even by the road. One time I stopped on the highway and within a hundred feet there were eight those just eating there like nothing you know so it's a it's a whole different state the, the animals here don't don't act the same right now there's been the, there's no pressure there's no hunters I'm possibly probably the uh, first one in the valley I usually am but I haven't gotten to the to the camping areas yet, so there might be somebody in there already. But being that there's no pressure, the deer should be moving around freely. <clears throat> and they just don't. Um, <clears throat> now, one thing that we have here that it messes up the, uh, the deer are the mountain lions. But mountain lions usually hunt during the night. Sometimes they, you know, if they see an easy prey, they'll go at it during the day. <clears throat> but those cats can see pretty good at night. And last night, that full moon looked like a freaking lamp overhead. It looked like the sun that was so bright. And they always open on a full moon. The, the honey season and that takes me off it it shouldn't be if it's a dark if it's gonna be dark no moon there are better chances of hunting the next day you know and they know that they do this on purpose so let's see we got another uh, 30 minutes to go there's a big mountain over there Uh, I believe that could be Whitney, I'm not sure. No, Whitney is further, further down. I think that's called Brown, Brown Mountain. All right, let's, let's uh, keep going. Okay, here's another area that was pretty dense. There's a rough trail. I mean, look all the junk on top of the car, top of the truck there. Branches and needles and I take them off and they keep falling in. <clears throat> so I pass um, several camping spots. Very good, very nice. I had a manual first gear. So very nice, plenty of space, plenty of room campgrounds with a fire ring in the middle or on the side all those campgrounds are going to get full because this area while in the 80s it used to be a hidden secret and only short wheelbase four wheel drives can get in here after they put that bridge 
now you can come in with a long bed pickup like like I do I would only see Jeeps and uh, Suzuki Samurai that, that kind of vehicle never seen a long pickup here because it will get hung up on the stream it was so steep the embankment but the stream was getting chewed up by the tires uh, there were some there were some pickups that were short bed they were tall and they had the big you know 36 40 44 inch tires and they will go through there and rip it up so the the I guess the forestry service decided to save the stream they're gonna put a bridge well now I can come in with with this camper because I couldn't have made it uh, without the bridge so it's a good thing on one side and it's a bad thing on the other the bad thing is now anybody and the grandmother can come in here with a suburban because I seen them all right here's a Jeep coming out all right later okay so I, I talked to a it was a couple I asked him how's the how's the weather over here how was the temperature he said it was freezing cold and I said yeah I know what you're saying and they were in a tent so now it opens up a little bit and then it, it goes back into the forestry and this is really a nice it's a little bit of a harsh ride to get in here but look at the 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 nice meadows and uh, it's a nice camping spot if you're not hunting it's just for camping and well, we were gonna come and camp and backpack but my lady she didn't want to bring the dog and all I wanted to do is bring the dog and and let him run let him run free through the meadows and have fun you know he's got a few years left I want him to be happy and enjoy himself and she was paranoid know that the bears and the bears and and I said you know it, it, I know there's bears uh, I, I've never actually seen one in this area but she thinks this is Jurassic Park, you know, an animal's gonna come out and grab the dog and take him. And, uh, and, and I said, you know, we're gonna bring our guns. She knows how to shoot too. But anyways, we didn't, we didn't bring it. Uh, we decided to do something different uh, just to please her. I, uh, I said, okay, we're not backpacking. We're gonna go, uh, we went on this, uh, where do we go? Oh yeah, we went fishing uh, to the Mammoth Lakes and we did take the dog and we put him in the boat with us. We, we, we rented a rowboat and then we did some fishing and we had a nice weekend. She liked it. Now in this meadow, I used to see some does feeding, but for a few years back, I haven't really seen anything uh, in the area. So, you know out in the open like that so I think the deer kind of push back and going up and over a couple of mountains they then not down we, we used to have a deer come down to our camp and just graze because we had a stream we had a natural stream in our camp it was just bubbling out of the surface and, and the deer would be hanging around and eating sometimes you see three of them within 50 yards and it was nice but I think things change you know times change but I always like coming over here look at the view of that mountain now I tried to climb that mountain and I did climb halfway uh, but it was too slip, uh, slippery, uh, shell rocks some places, and uh, I tried on the other, on the on the right side, which is actually, I think it's a steeper side on this side here. And me and a friend of mine, we decided to turn around because we were following some deer, and uh, and said, you know what, we're never gonna make it, man. And I know somebody that did go to the top a long time ago. He said it was a nice view. And, and I heard somebody went up there and put a cross. 
but uh, the Forestry Service found out about it and they took it down. So, yeah, this is a very nice one. Oh, there's a deer. There we go. There's a couple of those. I wish I had my, my zoom. Okay, there's two right there. There's three. Oh, there's a buck. There's a little buck. Is that legal? Let me see. Yeah, he's legal. That's a four by four. Kind of small though. Oh, there's another spiky. How you doing guys? We'll see you at the opening. <laughs> And let's see, that's a doe. Very young. Okay, that's that gives me a nice feeling. It, there, there's some animals here. Now back where I go, back in the in the wilderness, the, the deer there they grow big, and they get they get to six point, sometimes more. I, I saw an eight pointer one time. Somebody shot. And that, that little deer, if he sticks around the meadow here, he's not gonna be around for long because the guys that come hunting, they're more like meat hunters. And they don't care. He would have been shot right now. If it was somebody else. So okay, let me turn off for now. Later. Okay, this is why I like coming here. We got this beautiful view. All the surrounding mountains. You can take and pick whichever you want to climb. You got this uh, streams. I'm gonna pass one by one right now. There's another one further up. It's a bigger one. And uh, you can sit here with a spotting scope and, and spend half a day glassing and checking out the, uh, the surroundings. Oh, the, uh, the river has uh, higher water. And it looks like I'm the only one here. Uh, besides the other people that just I just passed, we got to cross the street, the, the the stream on the other side. Let's get this thing lined up. second here and just gotta punch it and that's how you do it <laughs> Some people have gotten stuck there. I've seen a lot of tire marks. So now we're going to cross this huge uh, meadow and pick the uh, pick the spot. All right, this is going to be another I don't know 20 minutes later.